Hi everybody. Um, some rather bad news about Cato is unfortunately um, <coughs> been diagnosed with um, been diagnosed with uh, a, liver, a liver problem. So um, I'm not sure what I can say at the moment till I got some results of um, the tests and everything else. Bit sad, but um, till we've had the results. Um, I can't really say what's going to happen. So it's a bit of a bad news, but uh, he's got to go on a special diet. Um, <clears throat> and uh, maybe have an operation. Lucky I've got insurance. So um, we'll see. So um, he's happy enough. He's happy enough. Uh, no signs of anything, but obviously he's gone up his food a bit. Uh, recently, so um, that was the reason why I took him to the vets, and uh, um, obviously um, that was one of the reasons. So a bit sad, but we'll uh, keep you updated what's going on. And uh, at the moment, he's fine; he's not uh, any problem. He just wants to play and enjoy himself. But uh, as I said, I don't know. Anyway, I'm leaving the vets and. Uh, We'll see what happens. Right. Welcome everybody to the channel. <clears throat> Just out today in a nice woodland area. Just uh, having a walk out with my dog. I'm gonna think what to uh, make an assessment with my channel. Um, trying to inform everybody how to become license free. Oops, God. Uh, um, and of course it's very simple as it's been explained in many videos previously on the channel I decided to name myself Inspector C after the BBC sent me letters saying I'm under investigation our inquiries, investigations as they do when you don't reply to their letters when you become when you cancel your licence you know you, you get these letters intimidation letters, bullying saying I'm going to get fined, I'm going to get uh, a jail sentence, £1,000 fine, and uh, I'm not allowed to do YouTube, I'm not allowed to do this, I'm not allowed to do that. And, of course, that's what they do. They intimidate people, um, saying that, you know, you have to pay. And I do believe we're not living in Russia, as far as I'm aware. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's, it's a free choice whether you want to watch or not watch uh, BBC television I think that's you know it's coming into your house it's not my fault it's coming to the house because they're beaming it out whether you like it or not it's there for you to pick it up which is fair enough you know it's a terrestrial television aerial now if you've got Netflix if you've got Amazon Prime or if you've got Disney you pay for it and you get the signal coming in through the internet. Now, BBC iPlayer is the internet, folks. It's not, uh, you know, you have to sign up to it and become obviously um, able to play the internet on the on the on the um, internet. That's BBC for you. They got around one loophole where people wasn't subscribing to the channel, uh, to the uh, sorry, the, the, the television license and watching it on the iPlayer, but they got around that loophole because it's, it was the internet. So, like I said, terrestrial television is being beamed to you whether you like it or not. And you just cut the cord, in other words, like my friend Mr H explained to you, you just have to um, decommission, de basically, the signal from coming into any your equipment in the house. That means if you've got a smart television or you've got an old television, you, you have to deactivate it, meaning that you can't pick the signal up. If you've got a socket inside your house, you blank that off with a blank. So it's not, and you've got no aerial, no aerial wire, you don't need an aerial wire, so you sling that in the bin. So you don't have any commitment to the BBC by watching their programmes. It's in the atmosphere, it's in the, it's on the television um, aerial picking up on your roof. I've took mine down, so I don't need one. So, 
that's basically you've not got it coming into your house anymore it's there if you put the aerial put an aerial to, to the back of the television and tune the aerial to the wherever the transmitter is coming from you can certainly tune it in but of course my televisions are not breaking it up because I'm not watching it so if they did get into my house or if I did let them in to inspect the place which you could do you could let them come in and, 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 and don't have to get a search or I say yes come in and check if you want you can do if you want um, sorry about a train going past uh, you can let them come into your house if you want to do you know if they come knocking on your door and you, you're not doing anything wrong there's a classic video where one of the goons from uh, BBC well not BBC TVC licensing came into the house inspected the premises and Mr. He Mr. Shakespeare a well known video which is on YouTube, Mr. Shakespeare. I, would, I was going to go through that step by step with it. There's another one or two videos that I was going to go through it step by step where they actually let somebody in the house from TV licensing to inspect the premises. And of course, they intimidate the person. They had to actually had the police in. And they were just sitting there and, and, and making sure there's no breach of the peace. Of course there was, because they were getting, the gentleman was getting intimidated. But, as I said, when he wanted to expect the, t the equipment, the television, he said to the uh, TV licensing goons, or inspectors, uh, well, I only watch DVDs. Um, yeah, I, I, there's no TV programmes coming to this, this television. Uh, you you try and find it. You try and you know you've got you've got to have the uh, you know you you try and find it. You know and uh, because he, basically it wasn't going to do nothing at all to help them. They had to find out. Of course, it, that's what it was all about. It, you know, they have to prove that you're watching, and they have to you know either come knocking on your door, look through the window, and and check evidence, video evidence, probably for a court that you're actually watching the television while, you know, live programs, something like um, Coronation Street, well, not Coronation Street, well, yes, any 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 program, really. It's not have to be BBC programs, but they have to prove that you're watching, either catch you out watching television. That is evidence, of course, you, you, if you do that, if they catch you watching it, um, but if you haven't got the access to watch it, then you can't watch it, can you? It's a simple thing unless they retune the television to pick it up. And of course, you're not involved in that, so the court will just say, well, you tuned the television in, this gentleman hasn't had his television tuned in, you tuned it in to watch the programmes. So, um, you know, <laughs> there's nothing to, to take to court for because you, you're not watching. So I, will run through, I may run through that video because it's not Mr Shakespeare, it's another one, well-known video where he lets the let's because there's so much harassment he actually lets them come in to this to the house anyway i might do that video um about that but anyway folks i'm going to um have a think what to do with the channel because i want to get the message across i'm getting maybe 20 or 30 people maybe 100 people a week watching my channel um you know and I hope it was going to get out to a few more people so in a week I might get three or four hundred people watching the channel but then again if I can make two people cancel license I'm, I'm saving them money so it's not so much the viewing figures but it's whether you feel you're doing some good so if it is if it influences influences to make your mind up to buy a not to buy a license or to cancel your license the correct way. I hope you give me some comments and hit the like and subscribe to help me. Yes, it'd be nice. But as I said, I've got 300 subscribers, but as I said, over 300 subscribers. But I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to you out there, people who are tuned into the channel who want to become license free. So I'm hoping that you leave some comments. If, if you watch the video, please leave a comment that, you know, I'm talking two to somebody and you answer 
in a comment that'd be very nice because I'm doing it for the people who are not aware how easy it is go to your bank cancel your direct debit which is six pound a week by the way you know I mean you look at that you know he, the license fee is 160 pound but you're paying six pound a week in my calculation that is double the amount that you need to pay and if, they, if the BBC had their way they would increase that to say ten pound a week uh, if they could if they could do it they would do it anyway folks I'm uh, out with my dog but that's that's the essence of the challenge to try and get this message across how simple it is to cancel your license and become license free so anyway folks I'm gonna leave it there on this one I will look into uh, look into the situation uh, and see you know see if I can uh, make a few improvements with the channel and uh, try and make it more informative for you if it's not doing it enough Anyway, folks, I'm going to leave it there. I will see you on the next one. Bye now.